Yeah. You I, I, I need your name. I need your name. You can no, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, perhaps, perhaps, sometimes, sometimes, on occasion. No, no, on occasion. yes, yes, maybe, maybe, perhaps, perhaps, sometimes, on occasion, on occasion. Occasion, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, just perhaps, yeah, just every now and then, every now and then. Yeah. Let, let me know when. Let me know when it starts. Go. It's already started. All right, I got my guy. No, no, yes, yes. Sometimes, sometimes, maybe, maybe, sometimes, perhaps. He out here in the tournament right now. <laughs> he, he out here. It. He balling his fucking Yu-Gi-Oh right now. <laughs> Fuck with the guy. What do you got to say, my friend? I'm undefeated, and the kids call me Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. <laughs> the Jesus. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Blind the little goblin. This thing cannot be snatched stolen. This thing cannot be sucked up by Thousand Eyes Restrict. This thing cannot be sucked up by Relinquish. This thing cannot be taken by Mind Control. This thing cannot be taken by Brain Control. In other words, every time I play against Standard Goat or Monarch, I get a buy. Every single time. Every single freaking time, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Flip Killers. These are also really good against Gravity Bind and Under Gravity Bind. Fun fact, as well as against the, uh, you know, area, the uh, level B, area mm -hmm. limit level B. Yep. Really good cards, uh, flip killers. So you want to make sure that you get um, Gravekeeper Spy with these. As long as you get Spy and they don't summon Spy, you get, you, you essentially get a buy against Chaos too. If you like know the order, okay, in which Chaos players like to play, and you know when they're bluffing you because yep. they, you know, they know you know the order. Mm -hmm. Just freaking swordsman them to death, okay? That's what I've been doing all day, all day long. So I'm running uh, one by Geki Break. Um, I like that card with Thunder Dragons. I like it with Sinister and, you know, just late games. Yeah. Uh, I like, uh, this way too. I like uh, Compulse. I'm running one Compulse. Um, earlier today, um, I, uh, some Breaker popped. They activated some, I composed it back to my hand and was able to pop another card earlier. Uh, I popped somebody's BLS, sent it back to the hand, and they didn't have any more cards, you know, to move from play. Uh, I popped a few cards with that play game, so I like that. Of course, you got Mirror Force. I run one Dust, one uh, Torrential, one Call, of course. Everything. Yeah, one Ring. <laughs> I, run a, I run a Heavy Trap. You're running a hodgepodge. Yeah, little, I run uh, two uh, Sakuritsus too. No wonder you want to do You had to move in everything for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah, so I run, you know, yeah. one Typhoon, yeah. one Premature. Oh, one. you mean uh, Snatch and Premature? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm also running Brain Control, so I run Brain Control because I run uh, a bunch of metas. I don't run any scapegoats in this deck, but I run a lot of Air Knights. So I, to get my Air Knights out, I, I like to run Brain Controls. Do not forget to draw your sixth card when you go first tomorrow. Right. I've done that before. Do not forget to don't summon the turn or just keep a monster in your hand. If Cyber Jar is on the field, the mm. moral of this story, mm. for me at least, mm. Cyber Jar is really good in burn. Amazing in burn. Yeah, this no, this something we found out through testing. Oh yeah, burn doesn't need three skill drain. Mm -hmm. Um, lots of stuff. Wall of Revealing Lights, dope. Uh, uh level. Limit Area B is dope. Oh yeah. Level, oh, hella dope. Level Limit Area B with uh, Big Shield Garden is pretty cool. Uh, good it's, combo. It's a great interaction. So, this is the MVP. Oh, and I should have been playing this yeah. from back in the day. I should have been playing oh, yeah. this and Beast Down and everything else. I am retarded, okay? <laughs> Do not listen to any GOAT deck advice like from the that I've given you in the past, okay? Yep. <laughs> Just like, listen to me now. Yes. Marauding Captain, especially with these warriors, it kind of soft locks with these guys, mm -hmm. and you can like you know lock with these two. Yeah. But I, I didn't I didn't do that today. But just monster presence and staying aggressive, and also this being able to get under gravity bind area limit, you know level limit area B. It is level three. <laughs> Insane. So you got graceful duo pot of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm running this tech card. This tech card right here. I saw that earlier. Won me the game. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried to ring a BLS for, on me for game, mm -hmm. and I activated that. Send it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, late game, this is good. Okay. Definitely when you're trying to go for damage. Okay, if you don't draw a card, but like it's a one for one. Yeah, game. like yeah, like if you got a bunch of cards in your hand late, like when I do, because I'm running air knights. Yeah. It's okay to. I I'd rather have a card that gets rid of a card than be drawing like another kaiku or another sinister or you know some. Bull. Well, you got heavy, of course. Yeah. Uh, the two cross Yeah. I'm running uh, two metas. Two metas. Yeah. Gotta be Diablo. Makes your nose run. We eat a fuck ton of it. So good. Mmm. Makes a little bit of mild in there on the side, so you get like a little bit of a coolness break, but not too much. Does not be a pussy. You want it like just. You want to sweat. You want your nose to run like this? <laughs> oh yeah. Good shit. Oh. Matter of fact. More Diablo. This, get rid of anything. I mean, even face downs, just do not ever do this on Sengan. Make sure they don't have Sengan or you lose. Uh, I didn't do that today. Good. And that's probably why I did so well. Just, I, I played everything perfect, exactly how I practiced. This yeah. is for uh, Spy. Just Spies, oh, yeah. Spear Reapers, uh, uh, Big Shield Garden if they're playing it. Just 
you know what I mean, anything, 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 just kill, 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 kill. And so that's 10 warriors, I play an 11th warrior, which is warrior lady because it's freaking warrior lady. The it's, best though. It's the best, okay. So that's uh, 10 warriors so far. Mm -hmm. 11 warriors, sorry, 11, 10 plus the, the 11, you know, 11 with the uh, warrior lady. Then I play a water engine, and I don't know why I ever cut this out of the deck, ever. Like, it, it, this is insane. Like, um, uh, nobody, like, I, I got duo today and was still winning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not like I got duo with every game. I probably wouldn't have done so well if I did. But, um, yeah, I just, I just kept digging with this and kept getting good bounces, everything. Um, two tomato and a Sangam. And that wraps up the monsters. There's 18 monsters. Um, I, like, I, you guys would be like, whoa, no Zalug? No, no, no. I tried to fit Zalug in here and some other stuff. It just does not work. Uh, no. Like, and even if you, I draw two tomato, I don't care. I just want that Sangam for Serpent to rape them with Abyss Soldier. I do not care. I do not care. Plus, most of the time, they think you have a target anyways, and they banish it. Promise. Right. Promise they banish it. Like, oh, yeah. I, it's just mind games if you draw two. Just, it's fun. It's fun. We don't worry about it. Games. So, 18 monsters. 20, technically. Someone's having an orgasm over there, I guess. Yeah, but, something's going on. <laughs> we have no idea. 20 with the Rotos, right? So, from my uh, lights, I'm running uh, two. I'm running a lot of lights. Two uh, magicians. I'm running two air knights. Three thunders and two blade knights, and then from my darks, I'm running two spies. Um, I like the spies because you know they help when you got the air knights. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's a hard defense to get over right now. It is. Uh, I, I fear spy the most, honestly. Yeah. I, uh, I like to run to Sukiyomi. Uh, you know, just in different combos. But in my side deck, I run uh, three. Bottom is trap holes, right? Mm -hmm. And these are real good against, uh, you know, aggros. If you want to, like, haikus, berserk rulers, you can just flip them and hit them. Mm -hmm. Or you can just flip something face down, and you can bottom sit the next turn. Right. Like a BLS or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, both you and attack over a different monster. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then, like, kind of set the bottom one. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout outs to uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. We're crashing to his place in Texas tonight. Hello, that guy. <laughs> No, for real. We're crashing with Steven Tyler. I'm not lying to you. We are crashing with Steven Tyler. I'm not lying. Really not. No, I'm gonna say that for later. No. From Aerosmith. Yeah. Knows the of Aerosmith. Meaning he knows of Aerosmith. Of, <laughs> of Aerosmith. Got you. To uh knock. Flip killers. Oh my God. Yeah. This is insane. Uh, take. I took faiths today. I took a. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, the rest of the time, actually, I took faith like a few times today, and I don't think I took anything else mm -hmm. except for. No, was it? I was just. I was just taking monsters to dig just to get final game and get damage and stuff like that. This yeah. card's really freaking good. Um, I don't know, you can do some cheeky things where you take like a tribe and use the tribe and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, uh, you can take their breaker and then like breaker their own background stuff. There's some other cheeky things you can do with this, but you mainly want to use it as a flip killer. That's what, that's what you do. Yeah. All right. Then you have the uh, regular staples. So to explain this, draw, draw more, steal, summon, and like this is this is uh, really important with the Abyss Soldier. I Abyss Soldier looped like three times today, at least, with uh, Premature Burial, it was lit all day. So I'm running Breaker, uh, BLS, Sangin, Tribe, Sorcerer, I'm running one Sinister and one uh, Kaiku. Dude, you, I don't eat. And I'm running, I'm, and I'm running, I'm not running 40 cards. Dude, I run, I run 43. 43 cards yeah. and like one of like everything. And the reason why I run 43 is because I just couldn't figure out exactly what to take out. But yeah. I run so many cards to help me go through my deck. Right. And when those air knights get to going, I'm pulling a lot of cards anyway. So right. to me, it makes me feel like I'm running 40, you know? Well, most people don't play Gorilla anymore, and they're just playing 18s like I am instead of Gorilla. Yeah. And so Air Knight gets over that easy every time. Yeah. Like, really good stuff. Morty, gotta go, Morty. Morty, you gotta listen to me. I'm, I'm gonna show you how to tie your shoes while they'll never come untied, Morty. Morty. I don't know, Rick. I don't think that's possible to tie your shoes while they'll never come untied. I mean, they'll, they'll always come untied eventually, Rick. Uh, I'm, trying to hold the, I'm trying to hold the thing, Rick. I, I don't think I can watch and hold at the same time. You know, you wanted me to record. I don't think I can do both. <laughs> You know, you can't watch it record. 
you, 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 you can't watch your recording at the same time. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean, Rick? What, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean, Morty? You just look at the thing, Morty. Come on. Morty, you just you just point the camera at me. You have it turned on. Is, is it on? Is it on? Uh, I, I think so. I, there's a red button and a, a thing. Well, I don't well, really know. If, if, if there's a, there's red, a lot yeah, is going it, is on. It is it red, Morty? If it's yeah. red, then you're recording, Morty. I think so. And here's a clock. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is my first time using this. <laughs> I just want to see Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Stop interrupting me, woman. There's a phantom Keep taquito. To merge onto Damn it, woman! West. Damn it, woman! There's a phantom taquito. That's my point. All right, we're in Texas. Took forever. I mean, this guy's cute. You thought you thought we'd be ready to play, and now we're tired as hell, man. Oh yeah. We're tired as hell. Oh yeah. Yeah, like Kevin's got the right idea. Keyson's already plugged into his phone again. Kevin's got the red eye. I'm going to sleep, yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still up. That's I'm right. Right enough. Oh, yeah, dude, Keyson's a hot. No he service. just drove all that way. Dude, he's a god for that shit, bro. That was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he did great. Oh, wait till it starts up again, man. His store has taken on its own personality traits, and I think it's old enough to drive. It's... There it goes. It is powered up, dude. This is a fully evolved Pokemon of a store. You want to hear what a pissed off weed eater sounds like? <laughs> <laughs> you know your dad's drawer in his toolbox out in the garage? You know, the one you open and the rattles are out. It makes a lot of fucking noise. Yeah. This is like that put in a blender. <laughs> Went back and forth on a tree with a handsaw. <laughs> uh, this has been going all night, dude. I think it might be having children at this point, you know. <laughs> when your snores can sexually reproduce, there's an issue. sleep through his own. <laughs> hey, how does that shit not choke you, man? I feel like I <laughs> then for a back row destruction, heavy, MST, and getting into the traps, I maxed out on Dust Tornado. This is MVP. Like, especially oh, yeah. since I'm not playing Breaker, you really need to max out on all these. All these. Yep. Um, two Compulse. I was playing three Compulse, but I cut it for a Torrential, and that yeah. sounds crazy in an aggro deck. But here's the thing. Between Ojama Trio, between Spies, and if you're in a losing position, this just owns, okay? Earlier oh, yeah. I owned like a, su I did, I slow owned a Tsukiyomi with this thing. You can do like all a set Tsukiyomi, because then he summoned a Kaiku, and I just like, Pfft. you know what I mean? Um, torrential is very, very clutch. Um, I usually do not like it in aggro decks, but in this deck, the way I play it and stuff, and how I've been practicing it, this is nuts. It's it way works. nutty. Um, and then final three cards, Jars of Green. But I keep in the format. Dude, I cannot bring myself, <laughs> I cannot bring myself to cut this card ever. No. Because like, even, so even when I side it out, mm -hmm. I don't want to, because I want to use this to dig to my sides. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, it's very often that I'll like leave this in to make sure, mm -hmm. against, especially against burn, I'll like leave this in to make sure I draw a decree against burn. Because if you draw a decree against burn and you keep it up, you win. Oh yeah. Period. So, uh, it, gets, it gets a lot of other decks too. So, uh, Jar Greed. Um, I, I do side this out though. You can side this out for like trap dust shoots or anything. And you're, it's anything good. you need. Yeah. Anything you need. A free trial off the street. You remember it was all quiet? <coughs> Dude, your free trial on sleep Ten expired. <laughs> Ten minute free trial offer. I'm silent. You can't put your credit card in now. Oh, fucking Christ. I'm not sure I got to pay. Yeah, two dollars one day, thirty the next day. A day, motherfucker. I can get lucky if I get a minute for two dollars. <laughs> the way them sounds were. Oh my god. I can't see what I'm pointing the camera at, but it's dark anyways, dude. This shit's just hilarious. You ain't got to point it at nothing. It can definitely <laughs> pick up on that amphitheater ass. <laughs> on We're about to be going to a Yugi Man tournament. 
Go play some goats. Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Sir. The one and only. Man, we're, we are privileged getting to party with this guy. I mean, this guy's like, you know, traveling around the world, banging more chicks than any of us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So far, so far I'm undefeated. Yeah. Hey man, what's your record? I have what, 4 0? What's 4 0, 5 0? You are 5 0, sir. Yeah. You wanna know why he gave you that answer? Because that's yes, yes, no, no, maybe, maybe, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes on occasion. I guess I, I guess I picked up a hype guy uh, down Back. here. Got a hype man, you know Back. what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey. We ain't winning, we no, ain't here. Hey, if you down to play the Oh, damn it, you don't have your stuff. That's the case. No, dude, I didn't bring my cybers. Dude, I, I, dude, I came here with Goat on the Mind. No mind control, no brain control, hey, nothing. Hey, you, hey. Get, you get a buy with this card. You, you got this recording. Yeah. This shit okay, right here. Diddy warrior lady. This yeah, shit hey, right, I'm, I'm right. You can't do nothing warrior. with it as long yeah. as it's, let me see. Z, as let me long see, as this card's on the field, the control switch. cannot be switched. Let's cannot see. be switched, man. No thousand eyes, no yeah, yeah. nothing. You cannot you take this that? any no, place. I Three of them. He's like channeling through Keeson right now, like from the afterlife. Like I think he was a real person that has possessed Keeson. Ouija board soul trapped in Keeson's body. Bloody hell. God help us all. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Juan Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Three Kaikus versus Chaos. Yep. I, I didn't do this every time, so if it was Chaos Goat, I would leave in the Blind Little Oil Goblins, okay? If it was Chaos Goat, I would leave in the Blind Little Oils because it's just so good against Thousand Eyes Restrict, okay? Yes. But against Pure Chaos, I would take out the Blindlies and put in Kaikus because this is obviously better against Chaos. That's all it comes down to. So you, I'm trading 18 for 18. Yeah, this can be souped, and that sucks. That sucks, but like... They better have it. it it's, it's, it's Kaiku, so mm -hmm. like, it's, it's just a good card. Oh, yeah. What's up? You don't mind if I do one more with you? Yeah, I already asked you. But yeah, I'll do one with you. I'm running one more of this, uh, <laughs> you know, for burn and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw this one in. I saw this it's against people that are running. I won two games earlier with people running uh, Solemns. So I would just wait on that until yeah. they played solo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, just wait, wait till they're solo. Yeah, wait and then, till... And then, and then get them for 500 for every effect monster. And then yeah. also this will negate any flip effect monster that it flips up. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm playing, uh, like, uh, I'm running Warriors, you know, just to just to help out as, as a side deck. So I'm running an uh, Exile, an uh, uh, Exile, a DD Warrior Lady, you know, swordsman. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I got the morphin jar in there. Um, I never got it off today. Yeah. Never once. Uh, it's a one up. Trap dust shoots, I definitely got off. And like I said, I ran three bottom assists on my side there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was running a spell canceler. Uh, the re I actually got spell canceler out, and it did me pretty good. I was uh, going against uh, a reasoning deck. Mm -hmm. And he pulled, you know. <laughs> like five magic cards Dang. and I uh, got it out second turn yeah I flipped the spy tribute and it was just over from there yeah, three smashing 
Okay, this is, I, I didn't know I used this all day today, mm -hmm. but this is for the beatdown mirror match. You can also yeah. put this in against Spy if you want to. I never did. Okay. Um, I just, I was really good at killing Spies all day, so I never put this in. Yeah. But if, I, if, I, if I'm like having a bad day, you can put this in against Spy, just smash Spies to be able to dig, but I never do. Um, yeah. This is really, I mean, you can put this against Chaos. The, smashing Ground is good against anything, really. So that's that's why it's in here. It's mainly in the, in the, in the beatdown mirror match. Likewise, if you're playing a beatdown mirror match, Bottomless is really good. A Bottomless is really good against Reasoning Gate stuff, and so is a Smashing Ground and like stuff that plays Jinzo, because this is good against Jinzo. Yep. But like uh, Bottomless, uh, what you do against the uh, Reasoning Gate decks is you call six for Jinzo. Yes. So like they hit, so like even they hit Jinzo, it's just gonna go away. Mm -hmm. And like anything else, you just ba banish it, Bottomless it. So this is like my side against that stuff. It's like, I can't think of a better side. That deck's kind of like hard to side against, and like, yeah. Bottomless is good against other decks as well, so that's why I use it over other sides. That's fair. Uh, um, Decree, because it's good against Burn and like literally anything else, I actually beat... Um, I played against a Panda Burn, and I sided this against Panda Burn today, and I was good against them. Yeah. And then Trap Dust Shoots, because... Um, Trap Dust Shoot is really good against uh, Chaos. I cited this in when I was no when I when I lost the die roll and like I know I was going first game two to get like a swift game two. Just get out Thunder Dragon, snipe out that boy, anything. Just like swift game twos. Um, you can also side this against like FTK stuff or like anything you have problems with. Mm -hmm. you know, just anything. It's Dust Shoot. Alrighty. And that's it, guys. Uh, the deck really did like do everything for me. I should have brought I should have brought it home. I just yeah. uh, screwed up last second, but. I'm happy everybody had like a really really good time. It was a really good turnout. Lots of uh, lots of uh, deck variety. There's I made everybody's playing a little bit of everything, but mostly chaos. Mostly yeah, mostly chaos variants of chaos. Standard yeah. go. But yeah, second place. We'll call this blindly marauding beatdown. <laughs> marauding marauding goblin. Marauding goblin. I don't know what you call it. Dust and uh, just a reaper. Yeah, because reaper stall and dust. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And holy shit! You that really just like. Surprised yeah. all of us with a hodgepodge of just <laughs> a everything, dude. Yeah. All right, you got any shout outs? Anything you want to, anybody you want to? Uh, uh, shout out to everybody in Texas. Shout out to my people in Oklahoma that couldn't make it. Yeah. Shout out to uh, my boy Philly Luna for finally deciding to come back and play again, you know? Yeah. Uh, he, uh, I beat him in the top four. He's a uh, same old Philly running tomatoes and trap dust shit, <laughs> uh, which I think is trash. Uh, he's a good player. Um, dust shoot's better than sides. Yeah, he he's main decking three. Yeah, I, I can't believe. I it. used to main deck it. It was and, so uh, deadly during the game. I, I feel like if you main deck three trap dust shoots, mm -hmm. you should main deck Rogeki breaks too, because you. No, no, compulsive. You should, compulsive you should hold them you so you can just get rid of them one day, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just sit bullshit and strap. That's true, yeah, that's so. true, that's true. Yeah, you might get your breaks or like, yeah, no, I understand, I understand. Or like compulsive where you get their monster no. count two, four in hand. You get their card count two, four in hand so you can activate the dust shoot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With compulses and like uh, this old stuff like that. Thanks, dude. Uh, I mean, no thanks for kicking my ass in the last match, but... Uh, oh, you surprised. Hey, that was... Uh, I got you earlier in the, in the, in the tournament. Your, yeah. your, your deck was definitely the best idea. Of a bill. That was an amazing bill. Thanks, dude. I really you know what I mean? That was the cheapest, that was the cheapest, best bill deck I ever seen. <laughs> I don't even know how much that deck cost, like 30 bucks probably? Yeah, uh, yeah, if I'm not playing the Mac shit, I play. Yeah. You might be running, uh, I'm still trying to figure out why you weren't running a duo. Because it helps chaos, man. It's like, it's so, check this out. If they, if they Thunder Dragon, right? if they Thunder Dragon, then my duo's dead. And if they have a Saintlet and they have a flipping Grape, then my duo's dead. Yeah. So I don't give a shit. Plus it pays a thousand life points, and I like to use my life points as a resource instead of like paying a thousand. Because that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's why. That's why I would play it. And plus it frees up room for other stuff. And, uh, you know what I was really having a problem with? Yeah. I run so many brain controls, and, but you run that card that stops it from... Blind the little goblin, dude. Ooh, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't uh, thousandize me, you couldn't brain control, you couldn't... Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, I appreciate it, man, and I hope we can get more people in the GOAT. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to a GOAT tournament in Southern California at uh, Table Gaming. It's a team event. It's, uh, it's three uh, people, and it's uh, $50 a person. So hopefully we can get a good show out there. We already got 15 teams. Let's try to get more people to do more traveling. Like we used to do, like right. we used to go to regionals yeah, and jumps. Try to get go back up to where it is. 
First place, 12 boxes. All right. All right. Thank all right, you. Right, Shout outs to Metamats.com, the best sponsor in all of Yu Gi Oh! They made the trip possible for me. Also provided me with enough merch for my friends to be able to rep their brand. The best sponsor in all of Yu Gi Oh! Really, really cool guys. Shout outs to James, who puts on the best goat tournaments in Texas. Thank you for putting in all that work and thank you for spotting me this box. I will be opening this box for you guys on camera soon. It was a fun weekend. Great turnout. Lots of old pro players there. Lots of new players there. Lots of deck variety. Everyone had a good time. It was all smiles and all Yu-Gi-Oh! all weekend. And uh, it was a fantastic time. Good vibes the whole way down, whole way back up. <sighs> I'm happy. I didn't take it home, but the Texas boys didn't make it that easy for me, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it was all it was easy all day. Karma came back and got me because uh, Kevin lost all his matches due to his own misplays and I gave him shit. And then at the final table in round three, I'm mm -mm, Karma coming back to get me. Lesson learned, lesson learned, guys. Man, such a good time. Dick slap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs>